Hey guys, got some more what they call vape mail. Um, I think I told you guys already, vaping is pretty much just as extreme as a hobby as knives or flashlights or, you know, other techie type stuff and innovative stuff. And uh, what people on the vape forums like to call it, they like to call it vape mail. So, be using my trusty Strider SNG. This one's previous to Gen 7, and I love it. Smoothest Strider I've ever owned. Beautiful. Anyways, I'll go ahead and slice this open. Oops, get right into the invoice. Let's see. What you guys are looking at is my Proveri with an extension cap. It's a Proveri Mini, the extension cap, and this is my first mechanical K100 mod. This is um, my vape mills from myvapestore.com and I think I might have mentioned in my previous video that I was going to look into um, dripping. People who are watching this video are probably searching for this. I know if you're my, one of my knife subs you may not know a lot about this. Um, but to get to a small preface of kind of how this stuff works, um, you pretty much have these things that they call mods and they carry your battery and it pretty much this is the uh, heat source and then they have these things called cartomizers which you screw into and this is where the the heat source comes in contact with and heats this filament on the inside and this is where you place your e-juice or your liquid so you take your liquid of choice drop it into the cartomizer or atomizer which I'll probably show off later on and um, connect this to a mod so you would screw that in or if you're looking at the Provari same thing screw that in and then you got a button to hit and that heats up the liquid and starts to make it evaporate and you literally have your drip tip it goes in like this and you have it connect to that and that's pretty much how it works and they have nifty little things like tanks where you can see you have the cartomizer that goes inside of it and you'll see it has a hole there so you can fill your tanks with liquid and so you don't have to refill you can go you know all day or half a day or you know um, adhere to whatever needs you may need for how much liquid you want us to vape so getting back to my ordered um, they, they have what they call rebuildable atomizers wrap this up pretty good. With rebuildable atomizers, it doesn't use uh, filament or you know work like a cartomizer. What it does, you can see unlike a cartomizer or a tank, it's its own little thing, a little device. Pretty clean looking. You have a hole there, um, so when you're, you know, sucking on the drip tip there or inhaling you get airflow through here and I heard these are pretty tight I meaning to screw it on something there. so it screws on like so you pull it off and you see two poles here and like I told you guys kind of a technical type thing um, I actually don't have it on the table right now but you utilize wick and what they call it is canthal wire and I'll probably build this for you guys on camera in the future, but for my first attempt, I'm going to do that on my own. And um, utilizing wick and canthal wire, and the wire connects to these poles, and then you take your juice, and once you have the wick all built up in here, you don't use obviously that much, you drip all your juice onto the wick, and when you fire it, yeah, the canthal wire heats up the wick, and it'll start to evaporate into this little chamber here and again you'll have your tip and rebuildable atomizers people argued that it gives you the best flavor taste and also vape production so yeah that is my unboxing of my Igo L rebuildable atomizer and I'll probably go ahead and show you guys more vids on this once I get it set up to how I like alright thanks for tuning in any questions or comments concerns you can comment below message me or whatever Alright guys.